and as great a player as Federer is, to come back after a five-week layoff and to walk out onto a blue clay court as well is going to be a test even for such an experienced performer, surely. Yeah, it will be. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously he's comfortable with the conditions here in Madrid. He's played in the altitude. He's had great success. So he's going to walk out on the court and feel... Well, I'm familiar with these surroundings. Having the blue surface underneath them might be a little trickier because it isn't quite the same. Well, tactically, it's already trying to figure it out, or has figured it out. Yeah, good evening, evening Patch. It's uh, match of the day. And it's a breaker serve for Ranic. Many felt that this had the potential to be an upset, and it's certainly starting to feel that way. 5-4. Three set points. Just over half an hour, and he's halfway there to securing the biggest victory of his career. Something a little special. And is it going to be a special night for Ranic? Oh, he's done it again. Remarkable. What a phenomenal start to this second set Ranic is making. Delightful volley, just using the pace of his opponent. Federer working so hard to get in tight to that net to stop that ball from dropping to make it a difficult volley from down low. Try to get in quickly, but Ranic superior off that forehand wing. It is a devastating shot. Federer's point in the end, a quality exchange between these two. Oh, what an end to a thoroughly enthralling second set come forward as he did 21 times in that second set. Oh, and he is joining the party with some extraordinary shots. Well, the backhand half volley that hit the baseline when he was serving at 5 all perhaps saved the match room. And that is even better. Too good, far too good. Still hasn't averted the danger yet. He has now. How well that's worked for him this evening, the drop shot. And that's it. A stunning return seals the win for Federer. What a fantastic evening inside this magic box here in Madrid. But still very difficult to compare when you go that far back.
Yeah, what better? Yeah. Two break points. Throughout so far, Federer. you Mike oh that's vicious I love the whip of the wrist Seven minutes for the opening set here. Good job Wilkes isn't here to respond to that. <laughs> He's a big Southampton fan. Oh yeah, nice anticipation. from both guys. It's a lovely pass. Apologising because he knows he got lucky there, but it was a great dig. Third match point. Well, he was pushed to the limits yesterday evening. Oh, Milos Raonic responded well at the tail end of that match to get the win. Today, it was a very different story. Gasquet unable to put Federer under any real pressure throughout. Good stuff. Fred's not going to try that uh, twice in a row. Oh, it's a lovely little volley. Didn't do enough initially with the drive volley, I thought. And Ferrer should have perhaps gone after the backhand pass a little more. Well, I don't think that's for Federer so far. Again, the footwork was outstanding. I love the way that he was able to just drop the ball a little shorter there. Nicely done. An excellent set of tennis. A 
there's no chance really is there for Freire when Federer's just getting inside the baseline there and just uh, nudging around the court. Triple match point. And closes it out with ace number seven. Very clinical performance from Federer. And there's some lovely variation. Such an intelligent shot, uh, any good coach will tell you that the best time to use the drop shot is when you're hitting into the wind. Exactly right. Slice backhand's been effective all week, it always is. You can really see how much spin Federer's having to put on the ground. He's there to get the necessary control with the stiff breeze behind him. So casual, but so effective. This doesn't mm -hmm. Oh, that is Paul Anakin to a T. I was going to say it was Robbie Koenig. Yeah, yeah. Played for Great Britain, he Davis Cup as well. It's a lovely little back hands. Set of tennis that for Federer. This time it's the drop shot with the wind at his back. His feet set. To return. A phenomenal forehand from Federer. Nicely done. Oh, didn't miss by much. No chance for Federer to seal the deal. Played well throughout the course of the tournament, Federer. Way too strong this evening for Tipsarovic. It was very breezy initially. I think Burdick has found another inspiration through that experience. What a return! 
return. Oh, this is special. Maybe that just the sign of things to come. Oh, he is producing miracles all over this court. Such a good job there, Verdict, of defending the net. But finally, Federer forces his way through. A great set of tennis then for Thomas Verdict. Perhaps even more impressive when you consider he made just over 40% of his first serves. But Federer really with no chances to break. Yeah, I think he's been tagged a little with that for sure. Yes. And Federer begins his charge towards the title. Tends to it pretty flat over that high part of the net. Yeah, and I think Roger recognizes that, doesn't he? And he saves the set point in some style, Burnett. Oh, which he does in fabulous style as well. It's been handed to him on a plate. Verdict did so well to drag himself back into that second set, but he gifts the break and the set. And we'll go to the decider. Seven game to five. Sent him completely the wrong way there. Yeah, you know you're doing something pretty and special <laughs> when you play a chip down the line and your opponent is completely fooled because obviously it's not hit with a lot of pace. So the disguise and the change is what works, and I think even Will like that one. No way back for Federer from Love 40 down this time. One poor service game away from disaster. Oh, yes. Well, we've seen many of the highlights in this match come off the racket of Burdick, but that time it was Federer. Could well go down to the wire. Can you believe it? Try to advance. Turn. 
finally he's able to find something a little special on a break point and he's back in this final Another scintillating forehand on the run to seal that game. Oh. Well, Federer invested so much in that rally just to stay in it. becomes the first man to win a title of blue clay, his third here in Madrid. And in a week of innovation, of controversy, some things remain the same as Federer wins his 20th Masters title. Amazing to think that coming to Madrid, he hadn't played a match in 44 days. What a sweet moment for Roger and the family.